Just saw Mike Gallo go uh, from Upper Marlboro, Maryland, put away uh, Percy Warmack, who was making his pro debut. Uh, that's a hell of a thing to have a pro debut and get knocked out. Uh, I guess Walmart needs to go back to the gym, but per, uh, Mike Balogun has improved to two wins and two KOs. And, uh, so the future looks bright for him. Let's see. Mike Balogun, right? 
Yeah. Yeah, so and um, we just saw you knock out Percy oh, Walmart. How you feel about your big job? Um feels good. You know, hard work pays off. I train hard for it. Got my coaches right, they got me right. Okay. okay. Here for victory. I see this is your second victory in a row. Mm -hmm. Okay, and when did you turn pro? I turned pro <laughs> two months ago? Two months ago? Two months ago. Okay, so tell us about your amateur record. I had my amateur record. Really? No uh -huh. Oh, really? So you right. just jumped into the ring? What makes you think you can take on the heavyweights with no amateur background? And you just step well, in? I mean, I have no boxing amateur background, but I have an athletic background. Okay. You know what I mean? I play professional sports, and I know what it takes to be good and to go to the top of your profession. So I take a work ethic and just apply it to this field of work. You know? Okay, could you tell us what sport you previously played? I played basketball. I said basketball. I played football in college, University of Oklahoma. Okay. And I also played for um, the Dallas Cowboys, the Buffalo Bills, and the uh, Washington Redskins. So. Wow. Okay. I got a, I got an athletic background. I'm a big guy, so naturally, just to take it and transition into this other field of work with a great trainer there. Okay. It's easy work. So well, that, that's pretty good. So, um, uh, why boxing? Um, actually, during the off seasons when I was a professional, as well as when I was um, in college playing football, we always used to train, and and it was boxing oriented training, along with football training. So I kind of continued it out of college into my professional off seasons. Okay. And between off seasons and regular seasons, I would just go ahead and train in boxing. You know, it was good conditioning, it was good work. And I knew it was the difference between doing my football work and doing that work. So it was just natural for the transition into it. It was something I always loved, something I always I was a big fan of. So you know, it was natural for me to go into it. And uh, see, if, see if I can uh, make it Okay, so are you done with all the sports? Is it now boxing? Yeah, boxing full time. Okay, That's so well, what's the plans now after this? Working my way up the mountain. Okay. It's a long mountain, but I'm prepared to put in the work to get where I need to be. Okay, who's managing you right now? Uh, Diana Hall. Okay. Along with my trainer, Z. Tell us what you train out of. I train out of Dishon Heights D Block. Okay, that's a nice sounding name. Okay, well, good yeah. luck. Uh, we saw the big tree. We yeah, look forward to the big tree and yeah. more wins. Tell us, uh, tell well, fans why we need to watch you fight. Yeah, you time. need to watch me fight because um, I'm the true definition of a hard worker and a hard worker that, that deserves a champion. I'm a champion. So if you like to watch hard work in yeah. action, Stay tuned. And now tell us, uh, I know this is your name, Mike Balogun, you know. Can you tell us? Balogun. It's, it's, yes. it's, it's a Nigerian name. Okay. My father's uh, from Nigeria. Okay. And my mom's American. Okay. So, uh, you know, that's my African descent, my father's side. Okay. Well, that's very good. I'm sure they'll be very happy to hear about the young Kevin you know, it's way up in uh, America. So, no doubt. Um, thank you very much. Appreciate you, man. Okay. Thank you, fightkings.com. Okay. Appreciate you.